Hello, welcome back. We get asked a lot how to tie the FG knot. We're gonna show you guys how we tie the FG knot quick and easy. You can do it on the boat. A couple things you need to know to make this go a whole lot easier. Hit that subscribe button down there. Check this out. We like to use the FG knot for when we're doing single jigs, wreck fishing for flounder, even tile fish. Um, and what we'll do is we'll use a main line of braid in five or six feet of our favorite mono and having an FG knot makes it a lot better because now you can reel your line all the way to the lure if you need to and there's a lot less to spook the fish. So let me show you the easiest way we found to tie this FG knot. Bonus tip, if you guys use spools of line like this, a lot of times in your boat you'll find that they get line everywhere. It just kind of unspools on you. Hard to keep straight. But what we found is if you take this and put it in a little huggy, it works great. These huggies meant for your beer cans, drink cans, whatever. You can just slide that spool right in there. And now you got yourself a great little leader reel. Works fantastic and keeps your line under control. One of the things you're definitely going to want for this, get yourself one of these knot pullers. They're really nice. Keeps the line from biting into your hand and cutting you. They just unscrew, gives you two pieces to wrap the line around, pull your knots real tight. Works a lot better. Doesn't take up a lot of room on the boat and it's really going to come in handy for this knot. We typically use 40 pound braid. I'm a fan of the Power Pro, but we also use some off brand braided line just because we go through enough of it. So this is 40 pound braid, and this is 30 pound clear mono. You can do this with fluorocarbon too, no big deal. So what we're gonna do is double this line over. Get yourself, I don't know, about a foot of it or so. And you're gonna start by wrapping that double line around your little finger. Wrap that up. You want to wrap it up around your finger to where you can get it like that. Basically going to make a triangle and it needs to hold. You don't want it slipping on your little finger while you're doing this tie because you've got to hold this tension on this braid when you're making your wraps on your mono. So with a thinner line, it's a little bit harder to demonstrate it, but you're going to go up underneath. You're going to go this way under and this way over. And then you want to make sure that those coils are pulled down on that mono. And it's going to look something like that. You might have to, on this thin line, kind of pull it down using your teeth on this other side. And you're just going to wrap it kind of snug under and under. And we're building these coils. So that way, oops, that way, pull it down this way. And I'm moving my fingers, but what you're going to be doing is keeping those wraps kind of snug on your mono. And keep going. Under. Under. We're building those coils. You can see that knot starting to form up real nicely. Just keep doing that about 18 wraps. Last two. All right. Since you're doing pretty good, that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to release all of this. Now what we're going to need to do. I don't like that. There's a boo-boo there. There we go. Now what we're gonna do is just take our tag in here, wrap it around this whole thing, and tie us one half inch to lock all of this down. Make sure you go around the mono and everything. So that's your base knot right there. Now the important part, we need to get this braid to bite into that mono. This is where your knot pullers come in real handy. So the first thing you want to do is we want to get that half hitch pulled down real tight. So we're going to take the braid, make a couple wraps around that, pull that half hitch down good and tight. 
to make sure we got that line locked in there. Now we're going to pull the knot tight against the bono. Same thing. Get your line pullers wrapped up real good. This really saves your hands. I'm going to try to get this on film. All right, watch this knot bite in to itself here. So you can really see how that deformed. That knot now is solid as a brick. You can see how that braid has bit into that mono. This thing is smooth and it's actually hard as a rock. So now we got to do is finish it. We're going to do just a couple more simple half hitches. Make sure all this is locked in place. more in there pull all that good and tight now we're just going to do a little finish whip so basically we're going to make a loop go through this three times one two, three. And that's going to lock those half inches in place and we will be finished with this knot. I like to go ahead and get my pullers out and finish this off with one more good tug. As you can see it. And I'm going to cinch up my tag in real good. There you are. Now we got to do is trim it all up. You can trim this end of your mono pretty much as close as you like. problem and then you just trim off your little tag in here there you go one finished FG knot that knot is not going to fail there you go pretty simple FG knot this takes some practice so go ahead and get you some line out start practicing on it we like about an eight foot leader between the knot and the lure this gives you all of the best of both worlds of braid and mono it's going to make you retie your baits a whole lot easier, give you a bunch of extra leader to work with, and the knot will never fail. So it's absolutely fantastic way to do it. Give me a thumbs up like button, hit that subscribe button down there, and ring the bell icon so you don't miss videos like this one when they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bonus tip, if you guys use reels,